is uh, just in foul territory. A long drive left center field by Canerco. This one is hit hard and deep, and it is high off the wall, and it's in play. Coming around, Magliar Donez is going to score. Canerco for third. He's being waved around. Stockers relay to the plate. Too late. And inside the park, home run for Canerco. I didn't believe I would ever see that from Paul Canerco. And he's knocked in a pair. There's a bunt. That's a good one. Ripken broke the wrong way, and he's got to stick in his pocket. A bunt single by Valentin. That ball hit hard into right field. Conan will not get that one. Short hops the fence. Norton scores. They're going to hold Durham at third. There's a shot. Stay fair. It will. Thank you very much. Down into the corner. Here comes Carlos. Here comes Norton. They're waving Johnson around. He's going to score. That will clear the bases. And certainly different from what the takes are. Get out of here. Get out of here. Way back. Looks up. There's the cycle. You can't put it on the board. Yeah. He's only going to have about three or four print marks on the mound because he just throws it and grabs it and starts up again. A slider on the outside corner, and it took about 35 seconds to strike out Ricky Henderson on three pitches. And a slider right down the middle, but he, he's got some good stuff. Jay is punched out right on the outside corner. Good fastball. That wasn't a strike. Him to right center. Oh, man, Uncle Charlie got in that time right on the inside corner. On Halama a few starts ago. Dan Wilson, ground ball to the second baseman, Durham. Over to Valentin, on to Thomas, a double play to retire the side, 4-6-3. We go to the top of the eighth inning, White Sox lead 2-1. to one. He's got his work cut out for him because these guys can hit. A blast into the left field corner. It's out of here. Home run number 10 for Paul Canerco. The 0-2 to Canerco. A smash. Rolling to the wall in left field. Thomas crossing the plate. Here comes Ordonez. And the White Sox have regained the lead. A two-run double. That ball hit deep into right center field. For way back. They look up. You can put it on the ball. Top of the first. And ball hit deep into center field. Way back. Bernie Williams at the wall. Looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes! <laughs> Solo shot for El Caballo. Carlos Lee in this game is tied at three. And you're right, and, and you wonder. One and two to Sprague, and he's down swinging. His dream is still working. Strike three called. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes. So we are seeing some new teams, some new faces. And we'll see a new hitter to this offense. And Omar expands his strike zone. Down and in. Tough pitch. Five strikeouts by Soratka. Let's make sure Van Poppel and Young are on the same page here. Face it left field. Durham rounds third. They're going to challenge Brown's arm. The throw on Lollipop misses everybody. Into second goes Thomas. And the White Sox have the lead, 3-2. to two. James Ball want to get the win. But J.B. settled down and then got an out. The pitch. Swing and a foul tip. Johnson hangs on strike three. And this uh, will be a disappointment. There's a swing and a miss. Missed a high fastball. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss. Lopez strikes out. The pitch. Swing and a miss. There's a curveball. Two outs, the 3-2 pitch. Right down the middle with the curve. Strike three, gone. One-two pitch to Belliard. Swung and a miss. I think they're spring training home in the Phoenix area. Here's a swing and a miss. He just chopped at a curveball and had no chance. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss. He blew him away with a fastball. They did not score, and since then he's been tough. There's a swing and a miss. Ten strikeouts. Doesn't make any difference. 0-2 oh, pitch inside corner. Strike three, gone. There's 11 strikeouts. Wow. Mark Burley. Mark Burley, just 21 years old, making his first major league start. Guys in 47 games. 
And the Twins leave the bases full. And they've got him picked off. Koski is caught at first. Struck him out with a breaking ball. See if that's a slider away. It is. Driving one to right center field. And Ordonez makes a nice running catch in the gap. And there's a deep drive to left field. Reed goes back. And you can put it on the ball. Yes! Herbert Perry having himself a heck of a day. Third hit on the day. Ah. Rick well to right. Buter turns every which way but loose. Canerco scores. Singleton to third. And he's in there with a triple. He's Singleton with a triple to Ball gets through Oliver. Here comes Singleton to the plate. And it's three to two. It's over with. Let's go hit. And Durham just does that. Cameron is back. Gone! Frank Thomas could hit him out on this team, huh? This one is fair down the right field line. Pierced on the road. Here comes Valentin being waved around third. Buter's throw, not even close. It's cut off, and the White Sox have the lead on their second triple of the game. They were screaming at each other. Ray Durham said, somebody do something. This has done something down the right field side, and this one will drop in. Durham scores. Valentin to second. Here come the White Sox. It's high noon, and the clock is dinging already. Talked about Carlos Lee being a guy the White Sox were hoping to get underway. He hits this one a ton. Back it goes, and Buter is there to make the grab. But tagging and scoring and tying the game is Valentin. Harold Baines, Cage, early 80s. Trying to choke off this run, but Perry does his job to center field. Cameron trying to give himself a running start. Here comes Baines. Oliver tried to block it, but he could not. So Harold Baines. Look at the job that he did. And getting the White Sox a lead. Normally you have to have a pitch on the inner half of the plate where that one was. Yes, he did. Fooled him. Understate what he did. So much for that feeling. And how about the job turned in by the youngster Bobby Howry? Oh yeah, the White Sox have some bullpen too.